All right, ladies, my name is Meredith Tucker, and I am a coach with LuLaRoe, and our team is the Fashion Fanatics. And I'm here today to show you the new Bless app. I know some of you have already been using it, but I just wanted to show you um, kind of how it works and hopefully answer some questions that you might have about the app. So we're gonna start by clicking on the Bless app. And this is what it's gonna look like when it opens. It kind of automatically goes to your pop-ups. You have some drop-down menus here on the left-hand side. Um, so when you're ready to do a sale, you're gonna go to pop-up. Now this particular pop-up in-home shopping is already open. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one so we can start from scratch. As it stands right now, you can only have one pop-up open at a time. They are looking to change that in the future where you can have multiple pop-ups open. So you can see um, my pop-ups listed here. So if you're looking to go ahead and get started, you're going to create a pop-up. If you're having some people come over and shop, I just would do something like in-home shopping or you know, open house um, and maybe the date. You can click uh, this little arrow and it's gonna automatically populate the address where you are or you can type in the address. Um, so that's gonna help to calculate tax. Um, so that's gonna help to uh, make sure that the tax is right. If you have a new sale, so let's say somebody is uh, at your house ready to shop, there's a couple of things that you can do. So you go back, you're gonna hit the plus sign. Then you are going to either select your customer or hit guest. Now, if you select customer, a list of all of your customers are gonna be here. So we're gonna use myself as an example. Um, so I just chose myself. Now you're gonna go down and choose the items that you're purchasing. So um, you, might per you might be doing leggings and we're gonna do a pair of one size leggings. So you'll click one size, you'll hit done. Maybe I need a shirt to match. Um, so you'll click tops, you'll click classic tee. Um, we'll do an extra small and then you're gonna um, finish. Now, if you were shipping, you would enter shipping cost here. Now, if you're doing first class or priority, you would just basically type in whatever shipping cost um, you're gonna charge. And you can see here it's total without taxes. It's gonna calculate the tax once I hit save. So up here on the top right hand side, you're gonna be able to click save. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this invoice. And then you can see the full invoice is here. Now it's added sales tax and shipping. So if I was ready to check this person out, if they were shopping in home, I would hit checkout. And then depending on how they're gonna pay. Now I don't really recommend that you accept checks from people that you don't know, um, but pay with check is an option. You would just put in the amount, which it pre-fills the correct amount, but if they were gonna do split payment, maybe they were gonna write you a $50 check and then they were gonna give you the rest in cash or something like that, and you would just put the check number for your record keeping. Um, okay, so I just processed that with the check. Um, I hit done on accident, I meant to hit cancel, um, and then it sends a receipt. So I'm gonna get an email receipt uh, for this transaction. So now let's go back, let's say maybe we wanna cancel this order. Are you sure you wanna cancel this order? Yes. And so that's gonna go ahead and cancel it. So maybe if you made a mistake um, or something like that, it's gonna cancel that order. So then you can see here that it shows as a canceled order. Um, now let's say for instance, uh, maybe you want to um, send an invoice. Um, so I still picked Meredith Tucker. I'm going to send her an invoice. Um, so let's just choose uh, one size leggings. So you'll do that here. If you were going to discount the order, you can hit discount right here. You can do a fixed amount. So you could put in $10 off or you can do a percentage, 10% off. Um, so if I just put 10 here, that takes 10%, um, but we're not gonna do that, so we'll just hit cancel. And then you're gonna go ahead and save this. Again, you're gonna see that it's now calculated the sales tax based on my Florida sales tax. And then if you wanted to send an invoice, you're just gonna click down here at the bottom, send invoice. Sorry about that. I thought I had my do not disturb. Um, so you'll just hit send invoice and it's gonna send um, the invoice to that person. Um, the other thing is um, you can do a, um, so that's how you send an invoice. Now let's say um, we sent this invoice and I wanna close this party. So you can just hit close and close pop-up. 
and then it's probably not gonna show, but you'll go here, sales, view payments. So you can see all the payments um, that have been made to you. So these are all payments that have been made to me. Um, and you would hit this get paid button. For me, all orders have been processed, but if there was money pending, you would just hit get paid and it would take you right to the new payments. Um, this is also a way you can find orders. So let's say you wanna search by customer. So then you could put um, Meredith Tucker and you're gonna look and you're gonna see these orders that Meredith Tucker um, has. And so that way you can see kind of what um, she's purchased with you or maybe you're trying to find out if an invoice has been paid. Um, so those are gonna be the things that you're gonna be able to use um, on the sales part. And then I also wanna talk about inventory. Um, so this is where you're gonna be able to see your inventory numbers and why it's so important um, to make sure that your inventory is up to date. Um, receiving is where you will go in and receive orders. So you will see these orders here, you'll click on them and see how it says they're all received. If they weren't all received, um, then you would need to go in and receive each of these items. Um, so it's very easy to do that. Uh, if you have questions on that, unfortunately I don't have any uh, that are available to receive right now, um, but that is an option. Also keep in mind when it comes to your inventory, you need to make sure that these numbers are accurate because let's say for instance, um, maybe I need to sell a small jill skirt. Well, I'm not showing any small jill skirts in my inventory, so I wouldn't be able to sell that item. I would only be able to sell um, you know, the sizes that I have available. Um, so that's something to keep in mind why it's so important to have your inventory up to date. These other ones here, calendar, content, and tasks, are all things that are coming. Um, you do have some content uh, options here, which is basically gonna take you um, to some LuLaRoe by design hashtags. Um, let's go back to bless. Um, the calendar, there's also gonna be an option to like schedule posts and things like that, but I haven't really dealt with that. And then also tasks, so you're gonna be able to assign tasks at some point. Um, Right now, you are able to do split payments. So let's say, for instance, um, whoops, do we? Oh yeah, we closed all of our pop-ups, so um, we don't have any open pop-ups. But just make sure that when you're going in to do a sale, I highly recommend that you have your person kind of pre-entered into the system, so that when you go to make a sale, they're already in your system, so you can go in and see. Um, these are all customers that have signed up in your system. And that way uh, they can quickly get their invoices paid if they're at your home. Um, I don't know what all these phone numbers are. Um, looks like somebody maybe did that by mistake. Um, and at some point you'll also be able to edit this information. Um, so you'll be able to look in um, and kind of see more detail about a customer. So um, just some really great features. The new um, application is awesome. Right now, it is currently only available on the iOS system, so you would need an iPhone or an iPad to operate the current app. They are working on a web-based version so that you could do it from a PC, and then they are also working on an Android um, functionality or Android app uh, so that you can also do these on your Android service. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help you, um, but hopefully this gives you a quick overview of our uh, new Bless app. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.